Hello, my name is Bob Foster, and today we're going to look more at the PowerVM uh, LPM and Simplified Remote Automation Tool. Specifically, we'll be going over the Simplified Remote Automation, automation Tool today. And uh, so uh, let's get started. So this is the tool that runs on a, uh, a server, and you point your browser to it, and you log in. And... Uh, I'm going to log in with uh, the, uh, the default user. And here is what it looks like. And over here, you can do live partition mobility work. You can do dynamic platform optimization. You can do a remote restart. So we're going to do remote restart today. So I click on this. And so on the left here, I have different HMCs I've attached to. I've attached to an HMC in Poughkeepsie, New York, and one in Rochester, uh, Minnesota. And I'm going to simulate that PERT P8 is uh, crashed. It's either powered off or disconnected or whatever, and it's crashed. And all these partitions that were on it, we need to restart on another server. So if I click on this triangle, we'll see all the different LPARs that are here. The VLSs don't show up because VLSs can't be remote restarted. You just remote restart the client LPARs. So I need to restart all these clients here because I, I want to... Uh, demonstrate the tool and then over here on the right you choose where you want to move them to well simplified remote restart works on p8 servers and i only have one other p8 server to move it to so for now i'm going to choose this p8 server and then you go in here and you hit next and it does a remote restart validation step this makes sure that uh, the lpar can be restarted on the other server so on the left here we see that uh, i got a, a an LPAR named BF Client 1, and it's currently on this Kurt KP8 that's shut down. And I want to move it to Bob FP8, and so it's going to remote restart. So everything passed. So I go to the next screen, and I'm just going to show you real quick how you would go off and move it uh, manually. I'm not going to go through all the other features in this first video, but this will be the basic stuff. So I start remote restart. And so now I'll talk a little bit about what's going on here. So now we are going to remote restart our LPARs on the other server. So like I said first, Kurt KP8 source server over here is down. And we need to, we can't wait for this to repair this server. We got to get these partitions back up and running as quick as possible. Or now we're going to remote restart them over to the Bob FP8 server. And so this partition is like any other partition that can be LPM. So when you have a partition that can be LPM, that means it's using VLSs for its uh, storage and its network connections. And so if you have an LPMable LPAR, it can be a re simplified remote restart LPAR. Just if the, you don't have to do anything different other than enable that you want that LPAR to be remote restartable. And you do that from a GUI. And I'll show that in another uh, another movie later on. So now what's going on is that the servers crashed. You can't talk to the VLSs. The HMC has actually cached all the VLS information it needs to send to Bob FP8 to make sure that VLSs can host those LPARs. So it, the HMCs cache the, the, the LUN information and the shared Ethernet information and it's um, a matrix that can be uh, restarted on another server. So right now what's going on is the uh, the tool is issued a command to the HMC and the HMC is building partitions now on Bob FP8. It is creating virtual adapters for the VLSs on Bob FP8 and doing all the, the vSCSI and MPIV mapping that it needs to do. And then after it creates these partitions over there and does the DLPAR add of the virtual adapters to the VLS, it actually activates the LPAR. So it actually does go through the, you know, activate this partition uh, process. So right now it's it's doing seven of these at a time. Um, uh, the the uh, tool and actually the base simplified remote restart is being enhanced to be able to do 32 LPARs at a time, but I only have seven LPARs to move here. So it's going to be done pretty soon here. And what we're going to see here is that We've, re we've okay, we've already seen one succeed, a couple of them succeeded, two or three are succeeded. That means we've moved them over to Bob FP8, and um, they are um, 
up and running or they're getting ready to be up and running and once this finishes here we're almost done I'll go over and we'll look at the HMC and see um, uh, that everything's been remote restarted properly okay I'm gonna stop this part of the video and we'll paste it together okay now I've gone over to the HMC and I've, I've now looking at the Bob FP8 server and looking at the different partitions on it and here are the partitions we just moved Bob F client 1 2 and 3 and then these uh, GB clients 2, 3, 4, and 5. In fact, 5 is still being activated. You can see that the reference it hasn't quite booted up all the way yet. But the other ones have booted up all the way, and they're connected to the network, and we've gone off got the OS uh, configuration from them. So this is, everything's done very well so far. Just great. Okay, so now uh, we've fixed the uh, Curt P8 server, and uh, I'm showing you the HMC screen, and so Curt uh, P8 has come back up. And I'm on the HMC now, and you can see that I have these L parts that I moved. Bob F Client 1 is both on Kirk and Bob F, but this is one the one that was failed on Kirk uh, P8, and here's where it's running now. So now I need to do the cleanup. So I can go back to the LPM automation tool to do the cleanup. Um, and so I go, here's the LPM automation tool. I click on Remote Restart again, and now I'm going to do Remote Restart Cleanup. And here I can go in here and start to get rid of all the different LPARs that got moved off of Kirk P8. They're still got a placeholder on Kirk P8 and you have to clean them up. Now the automatic cleanup is going to occur with the new HMC release that's coming out um, at, the end of the, at, at the end of May. Uh, it's HMC 850 release and it will allow you to automatically do the cleanup after the server has recovered but right now up until uh, May of 2016 you have to go off and do your own cleanups. So now we've gone off and done the cleanups, and if we go back to the other HMC window now, and we look, we can see one Bob F client one's already gone, and uh, Bob F client two is there. Bob F client three is gone. Oh, I might, maybe I didn't click on uh, one of these Bob F client twos, but oh, they're all being deleted now. So now you can see we only have the Bob Fs here, and this one last Kirk P8, and then it'll be gone in a minute. So I'm stop the recording to keep it short. So. Thanks so much for watching this video.